Hey guys, I am here at Stingray Bay. We are on the outskirts of Detroit. This is the third part of my little mini travel series here where we're gonna to be touring this awesome local fish store. So let's check it out today. Let's dive right in. So this tour is the conclusion to my quick Detroit travel series where I drove five hours from Chicago to Detroit to see a few awesome locations. The first video is a tour of an incredible basement fish room in the Detroit suburbs. Josh from Cunningham Cichlids was nice enough to show us his 94 home aquariums. After talking with Josh and making the video, it was then time to travel on to downtown Detroit for my next stop. I drove over the bridge to see the oldest public aquarium in the United States the Bell Isle Aquarium. It was a very cool behind the scenes tour where they showed me some great exhibits and some private access with the workers, filtration, and everything else that goes on to maintain this public aquarium. I'll leave links to both videos down in the description and I'd recommend watching those after this video if you haven't already. Then it was time to hit the road again and travel about 20 minutes north to a local fish store. I arrived at Stingray Bay where I was really surprised by what I saw. I figured it made sense to start with the Stingrays since we're at Stingray Bay after all. In the back of the store they have a few bigger holding tanks for some awesome rays. I want that. These guys were really cool and had some great personality. They had one that was slightly larger and a couple juveniles as well. They came right up to the glass to greet me and I definitely would like to set up a Stingray aquarium at some point. I might need to build a tank though since my basement stairs probably wouldn't fit a big enough tank. Also in the back of the shop are some turtles. I like turtles. I just want to show turtles anytime I can so I can use that clip if we're being honest. Back up towards the front of the store is a big display tank that appears to have been an old stingray tank based on the decor above the aquarium. But in here now are some of the largest severums I have ever seen as well as some silver dollars, clown loaches, and a massive flag tail, which is another fish that I've had on my bucket list for a while. There were also multiple types of severums in this tank which all had some great color. This tank is pretty deceptive on camera because the fish were huge and the tank was very wide and it may have been about 5 feet from front to back. Overall a very cool group of fish especially for me as someone who loves South American cichlids. But as we get into the aisles of the store that's when I was surprised by a few different things. First, I think you'll see that they had so many fish in these tanks and they were very well stocked. Even on a busy Saturday afternoon, the store did not look picked over at all. And for having so many fish, I did not see a single sick or dead fish throughout the whole store. And the last part of the store that I was surprised by were just the employees themselves. I believe there are about 7 or 8 staff working at this time and they were very nice and helpful. I've been to a lot of local fish stores that did not have this quality of service. I must have been asked if I needed help about 10 times an hour I spent there, and it wasn't because they knew who I was, I intentionally wanted to be discreet just to see how the shop normally would be. I also didn't even know if I was going to film a video here originally, but since I was so pleasantly surprised by all this, I knew I had to share it. So of course, we need to take a closer look at some cichlids. At last. They had a ton of Central and South American cichlids, including these Texas cichlids and these turquoise severums. They also had a few that aren't commonly held at fish stores, like the Robert Stoneye here, which were a bit spooked, some Viejas and Spillum, and a few others. They also carried some of the staples, like the Jack Dempsey, Green Terrors, and Red Devils, which were all juveniles. There were a ton of electric blue acara, which you probably know is one of my all-time favorites. There was a tank full of different convict cichlids, and some African cichlids as well. With an assorted African cichlid tank here, and then some very small Venusa spry. If there is anything I can nitpick about this store, it's probably the lack of African cichlid selection, but what they did have looked good and looked healthy. 
They also had some small Tanganyikans here. This arowana was maybe the coolest fish in the store, selling well over $100. I just love to do an arowana and stingray tank in the future. Every time I come to a fish store, I get flooded with new ideas, but maybe the most surprising fish that I saw all day were these albino pakus. Paku get massive, so you hardly ever see them in stores, and especially albino versions. I just hope they responsibly sell these guys, which judging by the staff here, they likely do. And as usual, we usually focus on freshwater and cichlids on this channel, but they did have a really good saltwater section as well. The saltwater fish looked very healthy like the rest of the store, and I know back when I was keeping my saltwater tank, this would be a great selection to choose from. They also had some invertebrates and a very nice coral tank up near the front of the store as well. And then the last thing to mention is I was very impressed by their dry goods selection. They had a ton of food to select from as well as some great pumps. They had Ciche here, so of course we're gonna like that. But they also had some great filters, equipment. They also had aquariums and skimmers and everything you would really need for any type of tank set up at the front of the store. And for a relatively small footprint for an aquarium store, they had a ton of fish and a ton of aquariums to choose from. If you were local, I think you'd come here for anything you would ever need in the aquarium hobby. And all those things I really liked about this place, including the amount of fish, the stocking, the healthy looking fish, and just the store being run very efficiently and all the employees being really great. I was just very pleasantly surprised by this local fish store and I would highly recommend it if you're ever in the area. But that does it for today's tour. If you have any suggestions for other fish stores or locations or towns to visit, I'm gonna be traveling a lot and doing more tours like this. So make sure to leave a comment down below and make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. We'd really appreciate it. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.